Hello, this is Asian Movie Pulse Bad Accent Reviews. I'm Aaron Hinojosa, and today we will be talking about Air Doll. Based on Yoshie Goda's manga of the same name, Air Doll premiered in 2009, adapted by Hirokazu Koreeda, who would go on to write and direct the acclaimed The Third Murder. The story follows Nozomi, a blow up doll who spontaneously comes to life. She learns about human life, particularly through her job at a video rental store where a boy named Jinichi catches her fancy. However, her inexperience with the world presents several challenges for her to fit in. Nozomi must overcome her vinyl exterior and discover what it means to be human. The cinematography by Ping Ben Li underlines the environment. At night, streetlights set a warm atmosphere for Nozomi's romance. Meanwhile, wide shots highlight the tall buildings that loom over the cast. The visuals immerse and at times confine the viewer within the urban setting. Nozomi is played by Bei Duna. Duna is known for her linguistic skills, speaking in multiple films outside her native tongue. Though the language she most relies on here is one of body. Duna will explore the new world before her with giddy-eyed wonder one moment, before donning a soulless stare, transforming into an object for one's perversions the next. Duna displays a commendable range through mere physicality. This strength is made apparent early on as it's the pillar that upholds the limited dialogue opening that introduces the story. Regarding that story, the narrative seems faithful to the form of a serialized manga. The plot is not constructed through a series of linearly connected events. Instead, the structure is more loose. The narrative takes a day-by-day -day peek into Nozomi's life which builds up both dramatically and thematically. Given this approach, the slow pace is unsurprising. As a downside, the pacing combined with the runtime can result in occasional drag. On the upside though, the leisurely flow allows for an intimate understanding of Nozomi that not only strengthens the character but also the film's focus. Speaking of focus, the movie carries a streamlined means of confronting conflict. Viewers likely anticipate civilian shock at a walking, talking toy, so to speak, to most frequently trouble Nozomi. While that does come up, taking advantage of the already present surrealism, characters overcome that hurdle rather quickly. This allows the writing to dive right into the deep of Nozomi's internal conflict, which serves as the basis for the surprisingly heavy tone. Entering a story centered around an animated sex doll, I expected a predominantly comedic affair. I was wrong. In fact, the juxtaposition between premise and emotions made the mood hit harder. Though the film presents several comedic instances, they aren't the main event but rather intended to take the edge off. Largely, the narrative delves into Nozomi's emotional destitution, that contributes to the sense of yearning and loneliness that characterizes the tone. This loneliness is further explored in the theme. Nozomi's hope to conform to civilization makes for a fine vehicle to explore the human condition. As Nozomi begins alienated from humanity, she latches onto its values as they are taught to her. As a result, Nozomi ends up like a mirror to her environment suggesting that one's happiness isn't necessarily derived from oneself, but society. The film further undermines the idea of the single individual through character relationships. There's an emphasis on the feeling of emptiness within the cast. However, the love between Nozomi and Junichi furnishes a sense of fulfillment. Erdal is about the struggle for self-actualization when purpose is provided by the affection both from and for loved ones. Examining humanity through the eyes of a pleasure toy, that alone says enough about the off-kilter yet introspective look Airdoll presents.